What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day as usual. All right, guys, we're going back to my good buddy Neville Thompson on one of his Gigapans. And one of the Gigapans is 2609. Let me show you which one I'm talking about. Now, guys, there's some interesting things in here. Uh, and you guys got to love this. Now, I'm going to give you the link to this page as always. You can see it here at the top, right? And you can hit the little arrow here. It may already be on the page. I always try to hide it. But anyway, it's got this little uh, image panel right here. You can pull out. And it says right here, last updated January 10th, 2020. And you can see it's quite large. It's 735 megapixels. And of course, it is the MSL, the Mars Science Laboratory. And it's 2609. And of course, it's got all the download links. If you want to do Flickr, you want to do a regular Gigapan, you want to do, you know, raw images from NASA. So either one, you can pick either one. In fact, I can click on it right now. Let's open it up. And it's got it right here. 2609. You can see it here in, in this box here. Uh, guys, if you can't see my cursor, you can see it's just a little red one here off to the right going back and forth. I know a lot of you guys are on your phones. Uh, this is the new computer. Just got it fired up and everything else. Got this little tiny cursor, but I did put it in red. And anything I show you, I'm going to try to put it right there in the middle of the screen so you can see exactly what I'm looking at, right? Okay. So just to show you that you can actually get to this, uh, he does supply all of the uh, NASA images and everything else, which is awesome. So kudos to him for doing that. Um, all right, so right off the bat, it kind of looks like blurry. I don't know what it is with this particular pan, but when you get into it, it gets clearer. So let me see what we add here. I like to do around 250 on this. All right, let me start from here. This is pretty interesting. Now, a lot of these are rocks, but they're not really rocks, uh, at least not all of the items. So let's have a look. Let's zoom into this, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about because some things that are amongst the rocks is the question. It's not the rocks themselves. We all know there's rocks here, right? And people will be like, oh, it's nothing about rocks. It's not about the rocks. We're not here for the rocks. <laughs> We're here for the actual anomalies or things that look like they stand out. Um, and, you know, of course, the uh, manipulation obfuscation we come to know from NASA and stuff like that. Uh, that's no secret anymore, right? So just some interesting things at the top. You can see where they try to put this blur over whatever this thing is here at the top. It's got that, um, I'll put it right here in the middle of the screen. It's got that weird loop type thing. Almost looks like this weird. Remember the like the ancients would make like, like these iron bowls type thing and had a handle. Kind of looks like that there, right? I think that's pretty interesting. Now a lot of this, I mean, come on. People say, "Hey, haven't you ever seen rocks before?" Absolutely, man. I live in a mountainous uh, state, and I don't see rocks that look like spaghetti. I'm sorry, I don't. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of things that are really inconsistent that clearly do not look like rocks. Um, you got these weird what look like either these are blacked out. Or blocked out because it almost looks like brownish more than black but you can see these right here let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit more put it right there in the middle of the screen you can see it right here it's got this rounded piece and comes down like this here see that and then of course you get this brown going across here i think this is actually if you really look at this it looks like it's actually been manipulated out and the reason why i say this because this piece right here like kind of goes up and it's kind of like comes down like this here see that and then right here this whiter spot, this small white little piece at the top. Something tells me there's something behind this because you can see this piece. If you look carefully, look at the lines. It literally goes in behind or under this manipulation. Got these pieces right here. Check this out. Almost white. Let me put that in the middle of the screen. Right there. It looks like there's two uh, pieces that are like rectangular in shape, one on top of the other. See that? Right there. Okay. I want to go to one of the places, too, coming up. There's two spots, and this has already been picked out. In other words, somebody's already seen something on here and was trying to convey what it was. One of them, I'm not so sure what they what they were trying to point out or trying to uh, show the people, but I couldn't see it, whatever it was, right? Um, again, these weird-shaped rocks... Um, I'm not sure that there's a rocks at all. There's something right there. It looks like to be standing out right there. It's right there at the top here. Right there. Coming down. Check this stuff out. Almost looks square in nature right there. But you can see where they... This is weird where they kind of went down. You can see this right here. Looks like it's been ghosted. Like they just lightly drew a square around this or something like that to try to hide something. Or... Dare I say it's like some kind of weird glass type thing, but I don't think that's the case. I think it's a manipulation because if you look at the top of these rocks, they just look, it looks drawn. It doesn't look like a natural rock as we know it, right? Um, people say, well, rocks are all different shapes. Well, you're absolutely right about that. But what I'm saying is it looks like it's drawn. It doesn't look like um, 
an actual rock to me, right? And I can see that they changed up their technique how they've been doing these because the the texture on these rocks and pitches are totally different now compared to what they used to be. Go back to the older stuff to like 150 or Sol 75 and just look at the stuff that's there. It doesn't look anything like this stuff. It's just it's just weird. And they're rocks are rocks, right? Even though they're all different shapes, they're still rocks. Weird lighter pieces right here. Looks like there's small pieces. One right there, another one right next to it. These little, little lighter pieces on this white piece. See that? Kind of like white and gray. I don't know what this is going on right here. It almost looks like there's a shape of this thing. It's either shadowing, which kind of looks like it is. Because you get this lighter piece right here, and it has a shadow under it. This right here, I'm not sure what to make of that. At first, I thought this was some kind of cutout, like it was right here. Right here on the ground. And this went under, right? Kind of hard to say, though, because this might very well be, this shadow may very well be from this object right here, or top of this rock, or whatever it may be, right? I find this interesting, too, because you've got, like, these white pieces sticking out of the so-called rock, and this may be light just going over the, the side of the rock, and I can I get that, but right there in the middle of the screen, you got this white piece right there, and a white piece, there, and then the rest of this is just what ro looks like rock. Well, what about this down here? And again, guys, don't look at the texture or the color. You want to look at the actual shapes. Shapes tell it all. Because the reason why I say this is because look at this piece. is one right here and one lighter piece right down underneath it. Is it possible it's like two straight pieces of something, whether it be steel or some kind of plastic or whatever it may be? Because whatever it is, it continues on. You can see it comes down to here. But take note of the other pieces right here. They're all the same color, but look at the lines. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Right here, in the middle of the screen, right there, it's got the shape like this, like a U-shaped, and then has this black dot, but then has these other little pieces on the side of it. So, yeah. Let me back out a little bit. We also have this other piece right here at the top. Look at this. We what looks like a weird cutout rock. See this right here? Nice 90-degree angle right there in this rock. Comes up like this here, comes straight down. Has a small circle in the back there. What looks like some kind of little weird things inside. I'm not sure what to make of that. Almost looks like webbing inside there, doesn't it? Look at the way that is right there. But anyway, nice 90 degree. Comes around like this here. But look at this. It looks like it has like a lip to it. And it comes up on the side, has this bended out piece, and goes around. I think that it's bigger than uh, than what we're seeing. In other words, it's part of something much bigger, right? This piece right here. Look at this. Nice straight edge. Boom. Look at the edges on this. Comes around. Almost looks like some kind of weird bent or some kind of manufactured piece. Don't know what it could be. It could be stone for all we know. You know, and it just kind of blends in really well with this, this its surroundings. Now, they, this is what I was talking about here. Now... I'm not sure what they're trying to convey here. What this there's a marker here. Now I noticed this in the back, right there, almost has this like little white piece right there. I'm gonna put it right to the center of the screen, right there. I'm circling out the cursor. I mean, come on, look at this. Look at the way this is drawn over. Just weird to me, right? This is what I find interesting. Again, we can't look at the colors because they blend it, and we and it's hard to go by the texture as well. It's the shape. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's a perfect example. This looks like it's some kind of object. It could be flat, but it's hard to tell. I'll put it right in the middle of the screen, and this appears a, uh, symmetrical, because look at this. It goes up like this here, has this curve going like this, goes around here, and does the same thing on the other side. Now, if you were to tilt your head to the right a little bit, you can see this piece right here, going like this here, and it has what looks like these middle pieces, or, you know, uh, detail in it, Right there. Has this black hole. I don't know if that's an actual opening to this thing. And right here, you can see there's something. It almost looks steel or metallic in some shape. You can see right there, like this right here, right there in the middle. Almost looks metallic. And if you look real carefully, there's a fine line right there in the middle of there. Right where my cursor is. I'm going to move it. Right there, there's a very, very faint dark line. And you can see this almost looks metallic, like I said. But this whole object right here, going from here, and has these nice curves to it. See that? Going like that there, going around this big piece, and coming back down, doing the same thing on this side, on the other side. 
Check that out. It just so happens to be right there and has almost symmetrical lines or shape rather um, than than natural, right? It's just it's just weird. How about this? And all of this chaotic rock, we got a perfect circle right here. Right there. Now, there's something that's higher right here. That's why it doesn't look like you can see the bottom of this. Look at that. Absolutely perfect hole in this rubble or rock. Because people want to believe it's all rock. Uh, I don't believe that's the case at all. Now, let's move it along. Now, here's another area you guys will like. This is also mocked off. I didn't mock this. Let's just jump way over here real quick. Now, this one's pretty interesting, whoever did this. This item right here. Now, you can see that it almost looks like it has some kind of weird point to it or something coming out. And you can just see it right here, as far as I'm concerned, right this in this area. It almost looks like it has some kind of almost steel color to it. But they, they put this texture over it to make it look like it's absolute rock. You know, when you look at some of these rocks, there's no way these could be rocks. Just a texture on them. And I don't mean that they don't look like rocks, but it's just like here's a perfect example. Look at this mush right here. Look at the way this, these shapes are in these tan-looking rocks. Come on, guys. This is completely patched over. You can see that. You can see the patchwork they've done over this just to hide whatever's there. Now, this is the stuff I found interesting, and it's just small little details you got to look at. Right here in this area in the middle of the screen. Check this out. When I'm looking at this right here, and I'm going to zoom into this, put it right in the middle. This right here, you get this white piece right here. Right? Almost looks like it's tubular right there. And it has whatever that is surrounding it is actually accommodating it. See that? And you can see what looks like white pieces right underneath. But if you guys are really got a good screen on your phone, tablet, whatever it may be, look just at the very basis in the shadow. There is a gray square in here. Like this piece here, whether it be white tubing or whatever that is, steel, I don't know if it's solid, whatever it may be, but it's going into it looks like a gray square. See that? And it looks like there may be something else right next to its lighter color. You guys can see that. Check this out. Put this in the middle of the screen. Look at this weird design piece right here. Okay, there's something right underneath it, but look at the shape of this thing. Almost square. Well, it almost looks that. It's kind of raised off of the rest of this. Right here. Look at the opening or cutout, and then look at the point that this thing comes to. Kind of fuzzy right there, like they try to take it out. Because you can see it right there. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me zoom right into it. This is as far as I can go in. It's 500%. But right here in this edge, you can see where they try to scribble it out. But in fact, it does have this crisp line right there. Got a point and goes back over to here and goes down. There's something whiter underneath that. Come on, guys. This isn't just a natural rock. There's something a lot more to it than that. Even this right here. Look at the way these white pieces are right here. Again, in this same area. Check that out. But, you know... Uh, again, they're, they're, they're actually like camouflaging these things to, to blend in with these so-called rocks. And I don't think they're rocks at all, right? Now, don't get me wrong. There's rocks everywhere in this photo, but I don't believe a lot of this is rocks at all. Check this out right here. There's this gold ring type thing sticking out of this rock. See that? Right there. Got this rounded piece. Kind of looks like it's supposed to be a rock right there. I mean, all one has to do, you don't even have to be a geologist to see this, man. You can see that it's faked. Uh, not all of it is. It's, it's stuff that's being covered over is the problem. I don't have a problem with rocks. Rocks are rocks, right? And uh, we can all accept that. That's not a big deal to me. But look how nasty that looks. That's like completely been screwed around with. Right under here. Almost looks like there's something standing right here. A nice straight edge underneath the so-called rock, right? Guys, I'll give you the pan. Just look this stuff over. Check this out. Look at this. One line. You got one piece coming out. Two. Almost. A, well, you can see a third. And you can see what looks like this almost rounded piece with a black dot right in the center of it. But check that out. And you've got something sticking right up, right out of this supposed rock. That doesn't look like it's natural. You know, for nature to do that, like three pieces, almost looks like, again, steel tubing or supports or some kind of metallic uh, structuring one, two, three. And what they do is they put this, see how this one's pretty clear at the top and then they get more and more fuzzier as they go down. It's almost like they just try to really cover that over. You got something right here. 
this brown piece right there, like elongated piece. Other pieces that are white. Come on, guys, look at that. Is that really natural? There was some other rock in here that I want to show you guys. This is pretty neat right here. Check this out. What is that? It has this arch-shaped piece on the side. Comes down, has this nice square end to it. And it has, again, this kind of arch shape, uh, shape to the size of that. And it's supposed to be nothing more than a rock, right? I don't know. And of course, you can pick any one of these. Facebook, all of that. Guys, tell me what we're looking at here. Just And guys, you have to go over this with a fine-tooth comb. You can't just go over and go, yeah, look, rocks. Yeah, rocks, rocks, rocks. You can't do that. You have to look at this stuff clearly. Again, just a little pieces. You know, you see these things popping out. It's almost like they, they forgot to, like, totally go over some things. And you see, like, these objects like this sticking out of of a middle of a rock. And it, and it simply makes no sense. It really doesn't make any sense at all. It's just You can see that thing sticking clearly right out of there. And what looks like some kind of steel supports or some kind of weird thing. This is no rock, guys. And you can see just a tad of white to the right of that right there. Come on. I'll let you guys check this out for yourselves and just go over this with a fine tooth comb because there's so much of this stuff in here that it's just it's mind blowing how much stuff is really in here. Some of the things in here are not rocks at all. Look at that. Look at the detail in this. Look at this. Perfect example. Nice smooth pot to this. And you can see it's got a circle right there. You can see the edge of it right there, the piece of it. Another piece. Got a hole in the center, and then the rest of it looks like rock. So you got to ask yourself two questions. Is this encrusted? And this is the reason why we're seeing half it look like rock, and the rest of it looks like almost normal, almost like a metal of some sort with this hole in it? Or has it been manipulated to block most of it out and clearly didn't get the whole thing out? I don't know. Look at this. Almost looks like some kind of tubular piece or piping. Looks like half of it. It looks like a half round piece anyway. And it may be nothing more than natural. It's hard to tell, right? Piece right here sticking up. Guys, you'll be on this for a while, checking it out. Look at this. Again, what kind of rock does this? Right there. Check that out. And like I said, you got these weird things in here that look like, in all this chaotic rocks we see right here, we see this perfectly round hole, except for right here it's higher. That's why we don't see the bottom. But check that out. And again, this object right here in the middle of the screen. Again, if you follow the curves, you got the curves to it like this. Goes up and around this like this here. And it's again, it copies the same thing on this on this left side, does it on the right. And it's got this weird uh, detail in it where it looks like it's got a opening a round circle or something. There's another one right there. See that? And again, that very, very fine uh, black line right there. You guys be the judge. Let me know what you think. I think there's a bunch of crazy things in this, guys. And I think you guys should go over this and you'll find plenty more things to see. To me, those are the things that stuck out. There's more to it, but those are the things that appear to me that stick out more than anything, right? Anyway, guys, like, comment, and, and definitely share. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. Got some more mod stuff coming up. Moon as well, so stay tuned for that. And got some other things I'm going to be working on too, so uh, also stay tuned. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and then hit the little bell, notification bell, so you'll be notified of any new videos coming out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.